Now, boasting a winning streak of 30 matches, that's the longest in history, by the way, England Women Rugby Union team are gearing up to face New Zealand in the final of the World Cup tomorrow morning. Yeah, it's being hosted by New Zealand, though, so if you want to watch it, you're going to have to be up pretty <laughs> early tomorrow morning. And we've got here one person who certainly will be watching, the mum of Shauna Brown, the prop. How are you feeling ahead of this match? It must be so incredibly exciting. I am feeling very excited and very nervous, but not in, not for a bad reason, just because I'd like the outcome to be they bring home the trophy. And Leslie, so I'm really good. Leslie, I understand that Shauna didn't even really think she might be playing. She thought she'd be on the bench for the tournament, didn't she? She did, yeah. She said straight from the beginning, when because when she first got there, she got COVID, so she was isolating for the first week. And then after that, she just said, I, I doubt I'll be playing because I'm, you know, not even on the bench, I'm reserve. And, and Shaun... then just one Saturday so morning, it just, you know, we got a call that she's going to be starting. Which is amazing news for you and the family and, and for her as well. And she only took up the sport some sort of five years ago. I, I know she's got an incredible sort of athletic pedigree. She's, I was going through her history here, a bit of boxing, a bit of shot put, a bit of hammer throwing. So... Um, the switch to rugby, have you and she been surprised by how successful it's been? Um, surprised, but not completely surprised because anything Shauna attempts to try it, she always puts her 100% behind it and does it really well and is normally very successful. So although it seems a fast rise, like her background in athletics was, you know, pretty strong. She's been doing that since she was 12, 13. And, you know, her determination in that was just always, she was always there, never let anybody down and always, you know, lots of competitions and she enjoyed it. She enjoyed the athletics. So she just likes doing things that are outside the box, really. Just, I've, you know, I've got a brilliant quote from Shauna here. She said, I'm just a kid from Peckham <laughs> chucking around an egg shaped ball. I can't believe where this has all taken me and obviously taken her to the finals. What do you think about their chances tomorrow? Because they're playing the New Zealand team on home soil and they're the defending champions. Well, I think they're going to win. They, they've got to win. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's going to be a hard, a hard fought match, I think, just watching some of the other matches against Canada. So, uh, but I, they, they've got a very good chance. So hopefully they, they'll bring it home. Yeah. Leslie, a few weeks ago, I think maybe last week, we were speaking to Claire Balding on the programme about the Women's Rugby League World Cup, which is taking place uh, in this country at the yes. moment. Yeah. What is it like for you? And, for, and maybe you could speak for your daughter as well about seeing women's sports so prominently, not only on TV being watched, but also being talked about like this. Well, it's it's. As I say, it's not new. It's about time, really. It's been a long time coming because women have always played sport, and I suppose rugby for myself, I it wasn't anything that I w even heard of for women when I was was younger, and even so much when Shauna was younger, it wasn't. She always used to say, "I want to play rugby," but there was no opportunities there to do it. So, you know, the fact that it's got come so far, and I think it seems to have happened. I say quickly, but it's probably not quickly for those who are playing it. Mm. So, but it's, you know, it's great. I just love seeing, you know, all the sports that women are participating in and being involved in and given the credit that they well deserve. She's going to be a pretty well-known face locally, though, isn't she? I understand a new mural of her has been painted mm. near you in South London. What do you make yes. of that? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We went down to see it on a um, couple of about a week or so ago when it got finished. Yeah, Benji, her fiance, went and I drove down there one Thursday morning and had a look at it. So we've been told about it and we've seen it. People have sent me pictures of it that have driven past there. It does look cool. And you know, said, Wow. Uh, and Leslie, <laughs> yeah, final question. I, I want to know your party for tomorrow. Uh who's coming and what snacks have you got? Oh, we've always got loads of food in this house, so there'll be there'll, there'll be food. It'll be all the family. I'll probably try and get my dad down here. He's only up the road. We wheel him down and just, yeah, lots of food, lots of drink and lots of party. And we were talking about getting the jerk pan out in the garden. Maybe you might do that. All right. <laughs> it doesn't okay. rain. It's going to go off big in Peckham. <laughs> I like this. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you have a brilliant uh, morning tomorrow. Lots of other people will be watching as well. Six o'clock in the morning for that final. Uh, England with Shauna in the team taking on New Zealand. Thank you very much, Leslie. Have a brilliant yeah. weekend. Thank you. And send Shauna our best if you chat to her beforehand.